When someone brings up Irish dancing, what comes to mind? St. Patrick's Day, river dance, leprechauns. While these are all reasonable associations, this is only part of the reality for Irish dancers in Southern Connecticut. The Lenahan School of Irish Dance has classes all over the state. Their dancers have had great success competing locally, nationally, and even globally. Assistant Director Megan Lenahan has made a name for the school through her success as a teacher and reputation of her dancers. Lenahan feels that this tradition has a perfect balance of physicality and grace. It's a beautiful art form, but it definitely also has become much more physical and much more of a combination of an art form and a sport. They're, they train extremely hard and put in to their practices what top athletes would do for their training. Dancer Erin Appelson has been dancing for the Lenahan School since she was little. She has competed in countless fashana and has even qualified to compete at the Worlds. Appelson wishes that people saw the amount of work and dedication it takes to perfect her art. Usually when I say I do Irish dance, people think it's either river dance, usually tap dancing, or some sort of just jumping around wildly, but it actually takes a lot of skill, and I feel like people don't know how much um, time and effort really goes into it. Instructor Erin Collins grew up dancing at the Lenahan School and went on to compete all over the world. She later became a certified teacher for the school. Collins attributes her love of dance to its unique style and excitement. It's an athletic form of dance, so there's lively music, you're moving, you're jumping, it's fast, it's exciting, and there's so much more to it too with style and grace, so there are elements of ballet almost, but it's also really lively and exciting all the time. The jig is up on Irish dance. From Jonathan Law High School in Milford, I'm Maura Staples reporting for Fox 61 Student News.